Revit BIM Workflow Automation with Dynamo Let's make design process efficient. The combination of Revit and Dynamo has emerged as a powerhouse in BIM design workflows. Dynamo helps to cut down on errors, and it speeds up the design process and the execution of projects by automating the BIM process and automatically updating any parameter changes. What is BIM automation? Architects and engineers will be able to be more productive and spend less time on all of those jobs that are repetitive with the implementation of BIM automation. BIM automation uses pre-calculated design conditions to automate the placement of system components with different variables. What is Dynamo? Dynamo is an open source visual programming tool that allows you to automate tasks in Revit by creating workflows using a graphical interface. If you are looking to automate a process in Revit that can't be done with the program's native capabilities, Dynamo can be used. How does Dynamo Visual Programming work? Even though programs are created using textual commands, users of this programming language have the ability to engage in interactive manipulation of graphical elements that are referred to as nodes. Each node represents a different function of the API and is equipped with an input and output port. In order to send data or information from one node to another, the output port of one node is wired to the input port of the other node. Through the cables, information can only travel in one direction at a time. Benefits of incorporating Dynamo with Revit include automating modeling tasks, optimization of design, script customization for your specific needs, integration of other software tools, and BIM model data management. How generative design work with Dynamo? An idea is pitched by the team, an algorithm is coded, and the designer modifies the algorithm, or source code calculates, and designer modifies the code, and a design is generated, and the designer judges the design. Generating multiple design options with Dynamo Revit Automation Parametric Modeling Users are able to develop parametric models with Dynamo, which means they may readily experiment with a variety of design possibilities by making adjustments to the model's parameters. This makes it possible for architects and engineers to produce and analyze various design ideas in a short amount of time. Automated Geometry Creation in Revit, the generation of geometry can be automated with the assistance of Dynamo. For instance, it can be put to use in a variety of ways to generate various configurations of walls, floors, roofs, and other components of a building. This makes it simple to develop a variety of design possibilities in a short amount of time. Analysis and Optimization Dynamo can also be used to analyze and optimize designs. For example, you can use it to evaluate the structural stability of a steel truss and optimize its design according to the different alternatives provided by Dynamo. Data Visualization Dynamo can be used to visualize data in Revit. Comparing several design possibilities and locating patterns and trends can be facilitated by the usage of this information. BIM Automation Process with Dynamo for a Parametric Portal Frame Structure Step 1. Install Structural Design Package The first step in the process is to install the Structural Design Package in Dynamo. This package provides a range of tools and nodes that can be used to create, analyze, and modify structural elements in a Revit project. Once the package is installed, it can be accessed from within Dynamo by selecting the appropriate tab in the interface. Step 2. Create the portal frame. In this step, you will use Dynamo to create the portal frame. The portal frame is a common structural element used in buildings and consists of two vertical columns and a horizontal beam at the top. You can create the frame by using a combination of nodes that allow you to define the dimensions and other parameters of the frame, such as the material type, cross-section, and orientation. Step 3. Copy the portal frame. 
After you have created the portal frame, you can use the copy node to create additional instances of the frame. This is useful if you need to create multiple frames with the same dimensions and properties. You can also modify the properties of each instance to create variations in the design. Step 4. Creating rafters. Next, you can create the rafters that will connect the top of the portal frame to the ridge beam. The rafters are typically sloped to allow for proper drainage and can be created using a combination of nodes that allow you to define the slope, length, and other parameters. Step 5. Creating cross bracing. Cross bracing is an important element of the portal frame structure, as it helps to distribute loads and improve the overall stability of the frame. In this step, you can create the cross bracing using a combination of nodes that allow you to define the location, orientation, and other parameters of the bracing. Step 6. Adding Side Rails. In addition to the main elements of the portal frame, you can also add side rails to provide additional support and rigidity to the structure. The side rails can be created using a combination of nodes that allow you to define the length, orientation, and other parameters. Step 7. Preview in Revit. Finally, you can preview the parametric portal frame structure in Revit to get a better sense of how it will look and function in a real-world setting. The preview can be generated by running the Dynamo script and then switching to the Revit interface to see the results. This allows you to make any necessary adjustments or modifications before finalizing the design. You can improve the efficiency of your Revit BIM workflow with the help of the powerful BIM automation tool Dynamo. It has the ability to automate repetitive processes as well as do complex calculations, create parametric design, and generate data that will assist you in making design decisions that are informed regarding your design build project. Automate building design with Revit and Dynamo integration. Please like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon for more videos about building information modeling.